questions? Hey, Tom, have you got any guys hold on a second? Coach, they, they came out in the third quarter, regained the lead. What did you see in their adjustments, and what did you guys do to regain it to uh, close out the game? Yeah, the, just the energy to start, you know. So, you know, our defense wasn't very good, and we were, we were playing, uh, you know, slowly. But I think when you're not getting stops, that tends to lead to that. So uh, we know there's going to be shifts in games, and we got to make sure that we can get through that. So... Um, we responded, got hit hard, and picked ourselves up and came back. Tom, I know you tell RJ all the time, go all the way to the rim. He was definitely doing that tonight. What did you see from his decision-making process once he got going downhill? Yeah, super aggressive, you know, downhill, get to the line. Uh, but those attacks, I thought, you know, attacking the double teams, getting, getting to the backside, uh, put – Put them in some closeouts, long closeouts, and I thought he read the closeouts well. So uh, the game will tell you what to do. Uh, and defensively, I think we, you know, we started the third quarter poorly, but we got better as it went along. Tom, what about your defensive intensity, the way that you worked the boards, you dominated the backboards in this game, both offensively and defensively. The, the rebounding has been huge. And I think that it's, it's critical for us. And then it's been one of our strengths all year long. And, you know, we have to continue to do that. And I think that's a big part of winning. Uh, but keeping our turnovers down, you know, we got to do better with that. Uh, but the defense, the rebounding, low turnovers, it's, it, it's huge. Tom, fourth quarter, you went with that unit basically that took over there, just kind of riding the hot hand. Yeah, you know, like we were searching, and we knew this game was going to be a challenge just because of uh, the quick turnaround. You know, so the, the late game on Friday, turnaround, uh, early start today, um, and find a way to win. And then that group uh, got going, and uh, so you, at some point you, you're making your decision probably around the five-minute mark, six-minute mark, and we wrote that out. And so those guys built the lead and, uh, you know, and obviously, you know, you're, you're going to whatever you think gives yourself, the, your team the best chance to win. That's what you're going to do. Uh, and that being said, you know, like the you've got a number of guys that are sacrificing and put, putting the team first. So I think that's critical. Yeah, like, look, hey, Julius is our horse, you know, and like he, he He's given us everything that he has. You know, uh, a lot of guys would probably, would, you know, probably wouldn't even be playing. So I knew that with the quick turnaround, probably impact him more than uh, than you know most players. He, you know, he, he was out an extended amount of time. So uh, you know, we we got multiple days here uh, before the, the next game. He'll he'll get a chance to, to you know get some recovery time but I think that's a big part of it so but the thing I love about him is he gives you everything he has so he's and he's done that to, to come back though you know the way he did to be ready for game one credit to him and, and we need him he's he's our horse we know that Tom the center rotation today you have two guys now Mitch and then Isaiah's really emerged this second half of the season just at least on the stat sheet as someone who can bring that level of playoff rim protection what did you see from the center rotation today yeah very uh, very pleased and in, in, in tandem they, they've been terrific and the second half of the season on uh, you know Mitch is the anchor of the defense Isaiah gives us the rim protection and he's a different offensively so th there's different components to it and I think our bench has really good chemistry. They play off each other really well. And oftentimes there's a starter, in some cases, two that are out there with them. But I thought uh, Deuce gave us really good minutes, even though they were short. It was, it was critical uh, to start the second quarter. And then I thought Obi was, was terrific. You know, so it gave us in energy, but he also gave us rebounding. So, uh, and then, you, you know, what can you say about Josh Hart? You know, again, he's, he's just one tough play after the next, a big shot, big offensive rebounds, great defense. Uh, you know, the guy's he's just a winner. And then, you know, of course, you know, the game that RJ had, and then you, you look at what Jalen did, 
we had a number of guys uh, step up, and you know that's what you need in the playoffs. I know there's work to do still, but there just hasn't been a lot of playoff wins really in, in 20 years or so. Just what do you think it meant to get to experience that for a couple of days around here? Yeah, I think the atmosphere. I always felt, that, you know, I've been to, you know, with a lot of teams and in a lot of arenas, and there's nothing like the Garden. Yeah, I think everyone knows that the, the the energy that comes with with the building, what it means, all that stuff. So. Uh, I thought our fans brought great energy, and that, that's helpful. Uh, but we have the best fans, and it's the best arena to play in. So there's there's nothing like a big game in the Garden. <clears throat> Tom, when you were talking about Julius, you said most players probably wouldn't be playing right now. What is his injury? Is it the ankle? Is yeah, it- just you know, like and the thing is, he had to work around the clock to, to get back, and that's what I love about Julius. And, you know, he, he gives you everything he has. So there's 77 games, he sprains his ankle, and then, you know, he works like crazy to get back, knowing how important, you know, he is to the team. But uh, to get back, to get ready to play, uh, you know, he was, you know, he pushed, and our medical people did a great job, but that's all, you know, him. And he was working around the clock on that, and he still is. You know, that's, uh, you know, that's the challenge that we have, and that's what I respect about them. And then we just got to get ready for our next game. Coach, um, both teams were defending in a similar fashion, trying to get the ball out of the guards' hands. Why do you think you guys were more successful in, in dealing with that um, than they were? Uh, you know, it, part of it is, is the shot, shot making component. And, you know, I think the, the great players, they know they're getting double teamed, you know. From you know our team, their team, that, that's part of it. And then everyone being connected together, everyone has to get to the right spots. And then you got to make the right play and trust the game. Trust you know, it, it, trust your reads and don't fight it. Get off it, and then move it to the backside and, and make plays from there. Uh, and that's what winning basketball is. And so, and that's that's the challenge with them. And. You know, with Mitchell, I, you, you could double team him. He can still make, but he makes plays. He's, he, does, he does a lot of different things. Garland is a, a big shot maker. They're bigs. Are, they, have, uh, they play off each other really well, you know. And then Levert is an X factor. And Lacoro, and that's, a, that's a heck of a team. You look at their net rating, it tells you, it tells you they're good. Um. Tom, are you at all surprised at just how much of a positive impact when you look at when Josh came here until now? I mean, it feels it feels like he took you guys to a different level. Well, I didn't. I go back, like I told you, I, I look at it in segments. I think the the segment where you know Obi went out and Jericho stepped in, we went ten and five, and then there was another real good stretch from December fourth on, and then getting him. That was the, the the final part of it. it. He fit into the group perfectly, so I think it was a continuation. Because I've, you know, Josh has been huge for us, but I also don't want to take away from the improvement of all the guys from the start of the season to the end. So for it to work, everyone has to be together. Everyone's got to be willing to sacrifice and put the team first, and that's what this team has done. Right, yep. Thanks. LB, you guys, you know, nail biter going into the fourth quarter, and that group it just seemed like the energy took over there. What, what did you guys feel out there and see as a group? Um, I just feel like we uh, we did a really good job uh, offensive rebounding. Um, felt like our rebounding today was big, big for the uh, for us to get the W. So um, we was just out there having fun, playing with a lot of energy. Yeah, Obi, specifically for you on the offensive rebounding, I think you had you had four of them, and and you had that big, very long, technically a putback yeah. that that took about 15 oh. seconds. You dribbled all around the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, What what was working so well for you on the offensive boards, and and working for you in your decision making process um, after? I mean, I just felt like uh, I was a lot more physical today uh, on the on the glass, so. Um, basically knew what I had to do uh, coming into the game to get the win. So, Obi, you know, they came out and took the lead in the third quarter. Um, what did you see in what they did to start the third and what did you guys do to regain the game? Um, felt like they came out with a lot of energy. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't really have the energy we needed uh, 
to keep the lead that we had. But um, I felt like later, later in that quarter, we we found we found that we're uh, like we found basically what we had to do to to get the lead back and, and keep that lead. So. All right, there's a week. Oh, <laughs>